All right, what up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Hopping right back into another IRL baseball video. Today, we are going to see which batting glove is the best. That is right. I went to the store today and uh, picked up some batting gloves, okay? Now, I wanted to go cheap and expensive, and let me tell you, these batting gloves are not cheap. Dude, I haven't bought batting gloves in a long time, uh, or I guess a good pair of batting gloves in a long time, and good Lord, these things are not cheap at all. Okay, so I only bought two pairs, but I also had another pair at home. So, yeah, there's three different prices. These right here, these Franklin ones, we've used these before, but when I bought them, I think they were about like 10 bucks, something like that. I know I wouldn't have spent more than 10 bucks on these because I just needed a cheap pair. So yeah, these were about 10 bucks. And then we got these white uh, Nike Alpha Hirachi Edge, and they were $25 right there. So yeah, these are pretty expensive, 25 bucks for batting gloves. And then we got one third pair, the most expensive pair they had at the store, and these were actually on sale. They say $39.99. But I looked them up online and they're usually like 50 bucks So these are really $50 batting gloves, which is absolutely insane when I used to play baseball the most expensive pair of batting gloves I bought actually no I used to buy pretty expensive batting gloves, but they would last you for like three seasons I can't remember the name of them maybe cutters or something like that. If that's right I'll show a picture on the screen those things were amazing I probably should have tried to get a pair of those but uh, yeah We're gonna see if price really matters when it comes to batting gloves We're gonna see if you can uh, if you can hit better with expensive ones or if you can hit better with cheap ones We're gonna see the feel we're gonna do all of it and let you know before you spend all your money for the new baseball season coming up if you should spend a lot of money or not a lot of money on batting gloves. So let's hop into this thing. Let me know in the comment section below what batting gloves you use and let's do this day. All right, so to start, we're gonna go based off of field. Now, I already know what these feel like. Uh, they're not great, especially since they're kind of used already. But I remember like nothing feels better on your hands than a brand new pair of batting gloves, okay? Some people might say, I don't know, a hand massage. I don't know if people get hand massages, kind of freaking weird. But uh, a new pair of batting gloves on the hands feel incredible. But these things are a little crusty. But from what I remember, I remember even saying this, this Franklin thing right here puts some weird pressure on your knuckles and it's really annoying. So yeah, when I'm hitting, I don't want pressure on my hand, okay? So these are already in last place. I mean, they're the only ones we already tried out. But uh, yeah, they're in, they're in first place and last place at the same time. Let's go to the next ones, the white Nike Hirachi batting gloves. All right, here you go, next pair of batting gloves right there. Bing bada boom. I've never really ever used Nike batting gloves ever. Uh, I just feel like they weren't that good. But uh, oh baby, these feel good. Oh my God. Yeah, these feel really good. Yeah, okay. These definitely don't have that fat badge across the top of it, putting weird pressure on your hands. But these feel really good, dude. But, oh yeah, I kind of like these. The problem with these though, and the reason I never got them is I guarantee you, I ripped these by the end of the video. I'm gonna hit a couple balls with each, and I guarantee you there's gonna be a hole there. Guaranteed. Maybe not a hole, but on its way to a hole. And for 25 bucks, these are gonna last me, what, two, three games? Maybe a full practice? Not worth it for me. But right now, these are definitely in first place. I mean, these are only for feel. We're gonna grade them over everything. So, yeah, they're in first place technically right now, but I'm sure they'll fall down pretty soon. All right, and the final batting gloves right here, the $50 ones, unless you buy them on clearance like I did for 40 bucks. But uh, we're just gonna say they're 50 bucks. And these things might be a little small for me. Ugh. These feel terrible, bro. Ugh. And these are the Evo Shields. Like, are you kidding me? I remember, like, kids on my team would get these, and they would definitely be, like, the kid that, like, wants you to know he's rich, you know? Like, he's like, yeah, my daddy makes a lot of money. I'm rocking Evo Shield batting gloves. But look at these. They feel not great. Like, right here, again, I hate that, like, feeling. Yeah, I don't know. But these definitely feel like they're going to be more strong on the hands. So we're going to go test these out off the tee and see, uh... See how they feel? Let's go. All right, so yeah, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit a couple balls against the fence and see how it feels. And what I'm gonna do also is uh, hit a couple off the end so it feels like my hands just feel like you're, you know, any baseball player knows what I'm talking about. If you hit a ball off the end of the bat, it hurts so bad. But depending on the batting gloves, maybe it, the pain goes away. I don't know. We're gonna see which ones, I guess, hurt the less, the least as well. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Boom. First swing in about five years. Crushed. Oh, how's that swing look? I feel like crap. I haven't swung in so long, bro. Okay, initial reaction. I wish I would have brought pine tar because this bat is about to fall out of my hands. Whatever, we're gonna try to hit this off the end now. See how much pain we're in. That looked good, looks good to me. Ah, okay, I didn't think that would actually work and it kinda did. Not great. I mean, it didn't hurt that bad. I was more shocked that that actually worked. But let's try it again. Okay. 
That definitely works. I cannot believe it actually works. Not great. Not great overall with these. Uh, when I hit the ball, I mean, it felt normal. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, the sting pain was still there 100%. So yeah, these are not looking good, the cheap ones. We're gonna go to the Nike ones now and see if they're a little bit better. All right, up next, like I said, is the Nike ones. These definitely feel the best, 100%. And these are all the same size. So uh, yeah, I think these are large, I believe. But, uh, but yeah, I love that there's nothing there putting pressure on my hands. Like, it just feels so good. So feel 100% these, but I, I'm telling you, there's gonna be a mark down there, watch. Oh yeah, that felt real good. Launch. Launch right to short. Okay, initial contact. They feel pretty good. Again, I wish I had pine tar, but honestly, holding up pretty good. Like that's actually pretty impressive. Uh, I mean, I've only taken three swings off the uh, off the tee, but let's try to jam our hands or not jam them, sting our hands, whatever. Here we go, attempt one. Oh man, that one. All the pain was on the index finger. Good lord. Like, I'm telling you, you guys gotta try this. You actually get stung. I did not think it was gonna work, but it does. It's intense. Yeah, terrible idea, but uh, yeah, they they really didn't feel better than the last ones, to be honest with you. So definitely hitting-wise and comfort-wise, these are way better than the Franklins. Sting-wise, pain-wise, whatever, they're tied. I think they're all gonna be tied on that, but then again, I wanna be swinging at an outside pitch like that, so yeah, I think the pain isn't to blame on the batting gloves, it's to blame on the hitter. But we're going to the last pair, the most expensive. Can they be better? In the first two. And yeah, again, we're doing the Evo Shields. And what's weird about these, didn't these used to come with like the actual like Evo Shield thing? I feel like I'm missing something. Like I remember like Evo Shield makes the elbow guards, the shin guards, all that stuff. But I know they used to make batting gloves where there was actually like guards on the hand. So if you got hit in the hand, you want to break anything. But these don't have it. So what the F, bro? Maybe that's why they were on clearance. I don't know. But we're going to go see how good these are. Oh, yeah. Absolutely smashed. Yeah, just realized I'm wearing two different socks. What an idiot, bro. Two different socks, NBA shorts, and the camo shirt I wore in the last IRL video. Dude, I am an idiot. What? Somebody needs to come over and dress me every day, okay? It might be a little creepy, but I need help. Look at me. What an idiot. And I mean, like, to make it less weird, you just pick the clothes out. I'll put them on myself. I don't need help putting on my actual clothes. Just need help picking out the clothes. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. So feeling, again, I wish I had pine tar, the bat feels like it's slipping out, but it felt pretty good. Besides this, right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but dude, when you're hitting, it feels like there's like a rubber band going across your thumb. Now again, I don't know if I'm being real picky or not, but those Nike batting gloves felt absolutely the best. And then these probably, and then the Franklin. Oh wait, I forgot to hit the ball off the end. One second. I'm assuming this is gonna take one hit to tell that it's gonna be the exact same. Honestly, that didn't feel bad at all. Let's really get this thing off the end right there, baby. Okay, honestly, I think it might just be a coincidence, but that didn't hurt at all. So, I guess pain-wise, these are in first, but comfort-wise, they're in second. Like, they really don't feel good at all. That little rubber band thing, I'm telling you, feels real weird. And for me, if I'm not comfortable when I'm hitting, I'm probably gonna strike out looking every at-bat. Okay, so far we've done two tests and that is feel, and right now feeling is boom, right there. Second place, I guess, is these, even though I feel like these two are tied, but I guess, this guy needs an oil change. Good Lord, this car sounds like Shrek. But yeah, these are in first, these are in second, and these are in third, uh, which is kinda weird, because the Nike ones are the middle pair, but they're the most comfortable, pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, I guess the other test we did was like the pain test, I guess, and they were pretty much all tied. I guess this thing didn't hurt as bad, but it's probably because I didn't hit it off the end as far as I did on these or whatever. So we're not even gonna count that. So, so far, we are going to give these the win, but we're gonna do one more test here, and the only test that matters is what batting gloves make you hit the ball the farthest, the hardest, all that stuff, okay? Now this is gonna, this is gonna solve the myth that the most, most expensive thing is the best thing, you know what I'm saying? Where people are like, mom, dad, I need this $700 baseball bat to hit bombs. But this is gonna debunk that myth 100%. The worst gloves are gonna be the best gloves. We're gonna find out right now. Let's go. All right, we're gonna do three hits each. Fastest speed counts. First up, the Franklins. Oh, that was trash. That was trash. 68. All right. That was ripped. 
85, there we go, all right, one more. That was so sketchy, 80, okay. All right, so our best one with the Franklins was 85. That's pretty trash, I'm not gonna lie. But then again, it's like the off season, okay? I haven't been swinging baseball bats as much as I usually do, but 85, not bad. We're gonna go to the Nike ones now and try to beat 85. All right, up next, we got the Nike gloves. Let's go. 82. 87, let's go, baby. Oh, that was bad, I slipped. 72. Okay, so three hits the fastest there was 87. So they are so far better than the Franklins by two miles an hour. We're gonna go the most expensive ones, the Evo Shields. I'm just kind of sad, bro. I can't even hit 90. I used to hit 90 all the time. But then again, it is the winter time. I don't know if it's winter anymore. I think it's fall, maybe. I technically have no idea what season it is. No clue, but I just gotta figure out a good excuse. I'll keep thinking. All right, and the final batting gloves we are gonna try out are the Evo Shield ones. These are the most expensive. We gotta beat 85 and 87. Let's go. Oh, that felt real. 87, all right, they're tied. Oh my God, this is big. One final hit. Can it beat 87 or is it going to be tied with the Nike? Oh my God, you've gotta be kidding me. All right, well, we gotta go sudden death one time. I'm gonna pull out the metal bat. Each swing gets one, one good hit. Now if I hit the top of it, we're gonna go again. But one good hit, metal bat. We're gonna do these first, why not? All right, here we go. The Evos. 85, even slower, one more, that's BS. 87, all right, well, so the, uh, the metal bat was pretty much the same thing as the wood bat. We're gonna switch over to the Nikes and I really hope one of these go over 87 because it's gonna suck if it doesn't because then I don't know what we're gonna do, but let's go. Oh, that was ripped. 90. Let's go, baby. All right, and there you guys go. I don't know if this is the perfect scientific method to uh, solve if uh, cheap batting gloves are better than expensive batting gloves. I don't know. I really think it's up to the person, to be honest. Some of you might like that weird pressure that uh, those Evo Shields give you. Some might like the Franklin thing. For me, honestly, if I was to choose one of these three batting gloves, I would definitely choose the Nikes. They feel the best, and technically, performance-wise, they were the best, thank God. We hit a ball 90, again, my excuse. I said I had to think of an excuse. My dog bit me in my pinky toe, and I couldn't breathe as good as I usually do. So that's why I wasn't hitting 90s consistently like I usually do. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below which batting gloves you use. If there's any of these, let me know what you think. I'm telling you, those Evo Shields, like they're cool, but they just feel really weird right there, and these are overall the most comfortable, so I'm going with the comfort. But then again, I wouldn't even use any of these. I would use the cutters like I use pretty much my whole college career, my whole high school career. They're amazing. I'll post a picture up here again, and I wasn't paid to say that. Maybe I should reach out to them and get some free money. Free money, I don't, whatever. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button. If you guys have any other IRL video ideas, let me know in the comment section below. And we will definitely do them. Baseball season is so close, I cannot wait. This is technically IRL video number two of the year, I think. IRL baseball video number two, maybe three. I already lost count, but there's probably gonna be at least 400 posted this year. So stay tuned, but we're out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Oh, peace. Oh.